You often hear me talking about how mindset is key when it comes to diet and fitness. And this is especially true as if you're someone who emotionally eats. If you are this type of person, it's very unlikely that just a simple diet and fitness plan or regime will work for you because it doesn't combat the mindset of your relationship with food. You're probably someone who feels sad, feels bad, feels negative, feels angry and resorts to food to manage that emotion, which then leads to feeling guilty, which then brings you back to that in initial feeling of sadness, guilt, negativity, anger, whatever that may be. Now, what we need to do is break that cycle so we can come into a new positive cycle so we can complete this new diet and fitness regime. And if we are in this cycle, we need to understand if we do come back over here, how to then break it once again to keep over in that positive cycle, because it's not an instant fix. But what we can do in order to break the cycle is to have an element of control and understanding. Through diet coaching, what we do is we learn how, why, when, where, not just the what. We're not just learning what to do. We're not just following a simple regime. We're understanding why we're doing that. And then we're giving goals and targets to give us that control. So say, for instance, I have got 1800 calories to eat in that day. And within that day, I have a certain emotion, which leads me to wanting to eat certain something. Now, I can still eat that certain something as long as that fits in with my 1800 calories. So what that does is that removes the element of guilt, which then stops us from returning back to the start of that circle with that initial negative feeling. So we can feel this way, we can eat and feel okay about it. So there's no guilt, there's no negative feeling. So we can carry on with our day and eat the rest of the foods that we're going to eat in that day. Where we also learn in diet coaching what a healthy plate looks like. We learn about nutrition, not just calories. We learn about micronutrients, not just macronutrients. And we can continue our day following the rest of our plan, even though we've had a period of not feeling great and eating a cake, but we've got control now because we can fit that in our goals. Even if it's not just for the day, we can fit it in our goals for the week. So what you're doing is you're removing the feeling of guilt associated with eating food. So this is why it is important. This is why mindset is key for success with diet and nutrition. If you want more tips or more understanding around diet and nutrition and support with the most amazing community, then hook me up, drop me a message or visit www.thisfitmum.com and check out diet coaching.